Hi everyone, Melanie here from Balloon Artworks in Derbyshire in the UK and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this exotic balloon flower bouquet. For the flower stem I'm using a 260 with a one finger tail. Okay, so give your balloon a bit of a squeeze and make a loop twist, a flower petal twist that is about uh, five fingers or so and just pass that knot and nozzle through and then make another loop to match this one. Okay, you need to uh, refresh yourself with this technique. I've got a beginner's series and I'll leave a link in the description below. So I cover all these techniques in, um, at a much slower, gentler pace. Okay, so we've made our set. So a lot of you have been telling me that you've got lots of 321s left over. Well, it takes a discontinuing these in the, in the colours and you're wanting to use them up. Um, don't worry if you don't have a 321. So just to play with two strokes of the hand pump, put a twist in there and inflate the next one with two strokes, put a twist there and tie together, okay? And make another one of these. Take another 321 and inflate with two strokes of the hand pump, put a twist, take your duplet or one of your duplets and just tie that third balloon on, okay? So that's what you're also going to need a bit of 350, I'm using white, and I'm just going to inflate the tip of this. I don't need it all, okay? And I just want to twist off the bubble here and tie that off. Okay, so that's perhaps about three, three and a half fingers or so. Take your flower stem and wrap in your cluster of three. Okay. And then take your duplet and wrap that in as well. everything over a little bit so that they're secured in position. Okay, so that's what you've got at the moment. Take the tip of one of your 321s, pull it down, and what we're going to do, we're going to stretch it all the way down, pull it into the centre, and then wrap it around one of the leaves. Okay, so take hold of your tip, pull it down, and then wrap it into the leaves. Okay, and you need to make sure you wrap it around a few times because if you don't, it will ping up and uh, this will undo uh, whilst you're working with the others, okay? So take hold of the tip, pull it down into the centre. If you need to, just put your fingers here just to stabilise everything and keep everything out of the way whilst you're, oops, whilst you're dropping everything. Now, I've lost hold of that tip now. So there's a chance that that one may ping open, but hey ho. So get a hold of the tip here. So I shall try and demonstrate that a little better. Get a hold of the tip, pull that down. Yes, that's pinged open, wonderful. Okay, so again, take hold of the tip, pull that down into the centre, and then here, just wrap the tip around those leaves, really until there's no tip left to wrap and wrap around. Because if you don't wrap that in well, uh, these things will ping open whilst you're doing the others, okay? So again, take hold of the tip, wrap down into the center and around into those leaves. So until you can't wrap in anymore. Take hold of the next one. Take hold of the next one. Pull that down into the centre and wrap around. And 
and you just want to arrange everything. Okay, so that's what you've got. Take hold of your little 350 bubble and pull that into the centre and just wrap in the leaves and then you can just cut off the excess. Okay, and you've got a really quick but impressive flower. Now I'll quickly show you how you can achieve this effect using a 350. The great thing about this technique is you don't even need to have a full 350. So I've just got a little four inch, four or five inch piece of gold 350. And all I do is I'm just going to inflate that with two strokes of the hand pump and tie that off. Okay, so I don't need to show you the whole technique, but you can already see that that looks pretty much like what we were using before with the uh, when we deflated the 321 to this point. And you use this in exactly the same way as the 321, by using this tip and pulling it down, okay? So that's all you need to do. And uh, you can use a 350 if you haven't got the 321s. For the bow, I'm using a 160, and I've just got a one finger tail here, and I'm just gonna twist off a bubble of about four fingers. And whilst I'm here, I'm just going to tighten that knot and trim off that nozzle. Then you want to make a loop that is about the same size as this first bubble, so about four inches, and twist, okay? And make another loop to match. Okay, so just measure the two together and then twist another loop, okay? If you want, um, instructions on how to do this that are a slightly gentler pace and I have got a beginner's video uh, where I go uh, a little more slowly and I'll put the link in the description. Okay, so just twist off a bubble that is a little over a finger, finger and a half or so. I'm going to pinch twist this. So fold everything over, grab hold of that pinch twist and just pull it upwards, okay? And just twist it around. And that will just pinch twist your bow, okay? Gather your flowers and your bow together and take that 160 and just wrap it around the flower stems so it captures them and holds them in position. And then wrap that 160 into the join of the pinch twist and the flower petal stems, okay? And then, if you've got enough balloon to go around once again, then do so. But I haven't. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to make a tail here to match this one. So I'm just going to measure the two balloons together, make a twist, and then I'm just going to trim off the end. Okay, and tie a knot here. And then I'm just going to trim off this excess. And then you've got your flower bouquet of exotic blooms. And I'll see you again in the next video.